All right, so some of the improvements that we've made to our chillers or things that we would like to see, I'll show you in this video. We had the Drinker Doctor or Rocky Savage come out and rework these insulation. He braced the support here. These are run flat tires so that we don't have to worry about airing them up. They're solid rubber. Excellent investment. We welded some bolts onto here so that we could hook it up to the little trailer hitch that we hooked up on the back of our golf cart. A big improvement I would like to see is for these to be brass. We have replaced them with brass, but I would like them to, to come as brass. I would also like for this to go 90 degrees, go straight down, and then snake along the bottom. So what we get all the time is kids shaking this, then they're wanting, because they're wanting the ice to cool the, chill, the uh, coils. So we want to see the, all the coils on the bottom. So here we have a frame that was welded on to the back so that we can put a hose reel on so they're not always having to reel the hose, wheel, wind the hose up by hand and place it on the side of the cart or on the little hanger that they provide. We put a hose splitter here so that we can chain or daisy chain or link or go piggyback the, uh, the chillers. In an effort to reduce the amount of hands that go into the chiller, we put straps over the top. We've also labeled the chillers to make them easier for our students to identify which one goes where. These yellow carts are pretty standard lawn and garden carts. Bought that one from Home Depot. The one that I found that I really like is the Blue Hawk one from Lowe's. It's got a different chassis. The front wheels turn a lot easier. It's more solid. I would definitely prefer this one. And then using the Outdoor Boss or the Flows or whatever machine you got, we put them into trash cans so they hold a whole lot more water. Strap them down. Another thing that I really like that we did was replace the squeeze or trigger ones with the helium type nozzles. One thing that I would really like to see is a better handle. Ours is broken off here after about six months maybe of use. So on this, what we call the pig, we would like to see a better handle system. And I think that's about all the uh, improvements that we've made, things that we would like to see in future hydration systems.